and the mayors who choose to boycott this event have put the needs of criminal illegal immigrants over law-abiding Americans. So who exactly do these mayors represent? Here now to weigh in is radio talk show host Gina Loudon. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Good to be with you. So let's start with that question because that's what I was asking myself yesterday when I heard repeatedly about these mayors one after another saying, well, we're going to boycott the meeting altogether. Who exactly are they representing? Their constituents or just a certain specific um, chosen element of their constituents? Well, it's obviously a very narrow, very highly politicized segment of their own mind, really, because if you think about it, this is really what this president was elected primarily to do. President Trump ran on the issue of securing our borders, right? And so if these mayors are going to go against what many of their own constituents voted on, and not only that, let's remember, we're talking about an infrastructure meeting here. If mayors aren't supposed to provide a uh, security to their citizens and infrastructure to their citizens, I'm not sure what their purpose is. Yeah, exactly. Um, and let's listen to what Mayor Bill de Blasio from New York City had to say on boycotting the meeting yesterday. Here's his excuse. The very day where we were told there would be a good faith dialogue, that's the day they decided to single out a group of American cities and once again threaten them. I came down here ready to have a serious meeting, and what I got was a publicity stunt from the Trump administration. A publicity stunt. Or is it what you're supposed to be doing to begin with, which is following the law? Yeah, we are talking about the rule of law here. And if anyone is singling out cities and uh, putting them in jeopardy, it's any mayor who is providing sanctuary, not even to illegal illegal immigrants, okay? But this is to criminal, second time criminal, illegal immigrants, okay? Because we're talking about protecting people who have committed crimes after they've already committed the initial crime of coming here illegally. Those are the only people that so-called sanctuary cities actually provide sanctuary to, mm -hmm. those who are committing crimes. Here's what the United States Conference of Mayors had to say. This is their statement on canceling the, the White House meeting. They say, quote, many mayors of both parties were looking forward to visiting the White House today to speak about infrastructure, as you mentioned, that's what they're supposed to be talking about and some other issues of pressing importance to the 82 percent of Americans who call cities home. Unfortunately, the Trump administration's decision to threaten mayors and demonize immigrants yet again and use cities as political props in the process has made this meeting untenable. So what's your response to that? Yeah, exactly right. If you want to know where the most dangerous place to be in all of America will be as we move forward, if these mayors dig in their heels and continue to act against the rule of law, it's going to be these cities that are calling themselves sanctuary cities because the only people they'll be sanctuary to mm -hmm. are people who are criminals more than one time, people who've been arrested for crimes when they're already illegally here. Yeah, it's and not that is immigrants. going to make them the most dangerous cities yeah, in America. Not immigrants, illegal immigrants is what we're talking about. They exactly. always to use that, yes, leave and, and that word out. out. Yes, and also remember that even the illegal immigrants who are there who may be thinking they want sanctuary or the legal immigrants, uh, these are the neighborhoods that are always the most victimized by those who are uh, continuing to be arrested and won't be held accountable for that, will be given sanctuary instead. Yeah, we talked about that yesterday in terms of MS-13 targeting immigrant communities. Uh, Gina, thank you, or Dr. Right. Loudon, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it this morning. My pleasure.